Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. And hello again viewers! Welcome to episode one of my brand new series. Come on, get along. Game supports auto save, blah blah blah. Sonic Frontiers. Let's play this, yeah. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this one. This is literally the second Sonic the Hedgehog game I have ever played. And the other one was the original Sonic the Hedgehog, way back on the old Sega Genesis. And I'm sorry to say, Back in the day, that game rather soured my friends and I to the Sonic franchise, and we ended up, or at least I ended up, never playing another Sonic game, because yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 on the Sega Genesis just wasn't very good. <laughs> the opening Green Hill Zone was fantastic, but um, everything that came after that was uh, not fun. And, you know, there were so many other games to play that I just never got around to any more Sonic games. So, yeah. This is the second Sonic game I have ever played in my entire life. And I've also seen the first of the, as of this recording, two Sonic the Hedgehog movies. <laughs> and that is the limit of my exposure, of my direct exposure to Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, I've turned it up to normal difficulty, but otherwise, all of the settings are pretty much the uh, default. Uh, with one exception, is it here in game settings? Yeah, I've inverted the camera axes. I can never remember for sure, but I'm pretty sure that on that one of them, either the x-axis or the y-axis, I just do better with it inverted. I simply don't remember which it is, though. I think it's the x-axis, but yeah, honestly, I just don't remember. So I'm inverting them both, and if it doesn't work, I can change one or both of them back. But yeah, most of the um, choices are just the defaults. Except uh, I've turned down the music to 75%. Everything else is still at 100, but the music I've turned down to 75 I still have the I have the defaults on for everything, and um, the graphics quality are really high. I recently picked up a new graphics card. Then I'm playing this on my gaming PC, and I picked up a new graphics card not that long ago. It's not the absolute best that you can get right now. It's a few generations behind that, but it is a lot better than my previous one. So, it should be able to play most everything at fairly high settings. And then the controls. I'm just leaving those at the default for now. I'm using a USB gamepad rather than the mouse and keyboard. Because for games like this, yeah, I think I'd just prefer a gamepad. So this is a blind playthrough. I have not ever played this game before. User manual. <laughs> so it's... Hmm. I have to actually go online using either my web browser or a QR code scanner. Eh... Yeah, I'm old enough that uh, I was playing games when all the instruction manuals were, you know, big fat paper books that got included in the software box. And yeah, I do understand why game companies have moved away from that, but I gotta say I miss it because it was just so much easier having that booklet at your fingertips, so you could just leaf right through it instead of having to you know, 
get up and go to either your PC or your phone and then go online and check out a website and all of that. Well, enough whining about that. Let's just get right into it. So, let's see. Easy, normal, or hard? Normal, recommended for those who want to balance between story and challenging foes. Easy, recommended for those who want to focus more on the story. That's usually me. Hard, recommended for those who want challenging battles and something extra. Something extra? Mm-hmm. That makes it sound like they're locking something behind hard mode, which I do not like. I'm going to go with normal. Oops. Push the cancel buttons. Uh, the A-B confusion that I sometimes have in with game pads, because I play a lot on my Nintendo Switch, and the A and B buttons are reversed compared to everything else. Action style, high speed style. Um, okay, this is unique from difficulty, but I'm not sure what it means. Okay, high speed style recommended for people who are used to playing Sonic games. That's definitely not me. <laughs> like I said, this is only the second one I've ever played in my life. Action style, from, recommended for people not familiar. Okay, well, let's go with that then. So I recommend Robotnik, I recognize Robotnik, a.k.a. Eggman. It's all coming online. The ancient secrets will be mine. Hmm. Status report. Answer me! Simulations complete. Executing protective initiative. What? No! No! That was interesting. More interesting is that the FPS is only, is dipped down all the way to 30. Okay, I definitely recognize Sonic and Tails there, but coming up, Starfall Island. Don't remember her name. How exciting! You tracked the Chaos Emeralds here, right? Let's find out what drew them here. I hope during the action sequences it goes back up to 60 FPS. Yes, it's back up to 60.
I really have no idea what I'm doing. That was a boost. Okay, use using a controller with an analog stick, Sonic will walk or run depending on how much the analog is tilted. Pressing right trigger will have Sonic boost in the same direction he's moving. How do I get on top of that? Okay. I'm not doing all that great here, but I guess that's what you get for having never played a Sonic game before. Yeah, I was thinking I could break through these, but no, apparently not. I haven't gotten the hang of this. Press A to jump, jump over obstacles to prevent Sonic from reaching the goal. Pressing A in midair will cause Sonic to double jump. Target cursor is shown on a spring. Do a homing attack by pressing X. Okay. Okay, that rail grinding bit. What was I supposed to do with that? Oops. <laughs> I think I see what I'm supposed to do with that. Okay, I kind of sucked at that. Let's see. Reach the goal, clear with rank S time, clear with 150 rings, find all red star rings. Hmm. Didn't get even, even close to rank S. Let's just try again. Okay, try again. One more time.
going well at all, is it? About ready to give up on it. Enough's enough. Okay, we're done with this one. I can always try it again later, I'm sure. Well, this is some weird cyberspace stuff. Kind of interested to find out what's going on with all that. What, what was Dr. Eggman there getting up to? And why does everything look kind of pixelated? That's obviously a purposeful effect. That's her name, Amy. Whew. Looks like I'm the only one who made it out of that. Whatever it was. Whew. Mortal. Ugh. Hello? You have done the impossible. You have escaped cyberspace through your own power. You are the key. Key, huh? Sure beats being called a rodent. Are you saying I can rescue my friends? Find the Chaos Emeralds. Destroy the Titans. Tear down the walls between dimensions. Yeah, okay, sure. How about a little context? Hello? Uh. Oh well. Some direction is better than none. Here we go. Use right stick to rotate the camera. Find a way forward. Press left on the D-pad to bring up this window again. Left. Yep, there we go. Go to options to change things such as camera angle and player controls. If you find yourself having motion sickness, try using a wider camera angle Turning off blur and rotation, and turning on the center cursor. Let's see here. Okay, I think I do not want inverted X. Actually, let's just undo the inversion entirely. Alright, I 
think that's better. Yeah. Okay, and what's this? Oh, this is what I was just doing. So I can go back in there by doing this. Hmm. Activate switches. There are three ancient switches on the ground. Activating them will earn a reward and unlock part of them, the map. Are kind of imprecise. What was that? Kronos Island. Complete challenges to reveal the map. Completing challenges will reveal the surrounding area on the map. Once revealed, the map will help in locating guardians, portals, and memory tokens. Open the map by pressing whatever button that is. Probably the select button. And what is that spiky thing? Okay. It does not tell me what that spiky thing is. That's not very useful. the map all right all right let's see what's the scale here huh. and is that right there my location that kind of cream colored diamond shape <laughs> training simulator a notification may appear when sonic is near something new press down on the d-pad while the notification is displayed to practice the action in the training simulator or get a hint about what Sonic is about to encounter. Press down to go to the training simulator now. Homing attack. The training simulator can be exited by pressing... Select, I guess. When select is displayed in the lower right corner of the screen. Press X when the target cursor is displayed to perform a homing attack. When enemies are defeated, they drop various items such as skill pieces and seeds. Gather enough skill pieces and they will turn into skill points, as shown in the lower right corner of the screen. These can then be used to learn new skills to enhance Sonic. Plus 300. Wow, okay. something else over here. <laughs> hey, stop that. Huh. Go over there, or down there. Interesting. Plus 
360. So now the counter down at the bottom says one. Yeah, I haven't gotten down the controls yet. Okay, so I'm supposed to be able to speed along here, it would appear. Because there's lots of those speed pads over there. Okay, I think I see what that's supposed to do, but I can't seem to get to it. If I boost in midair... Yeah, I'm still not getting this yet. <laughs> kind of cantaloupe. Same as one of those weird virtual robots I fought before. It looks different. This is obviously some kind of arena. Well. Lock on and defeat the Guardian. Guardians are very powerful. They are bigger than normal enemies and have special attacks. Study their moves and find an opening. When an enemy is targeted, lock onto them by pressing the right stick. Okay. I'm trying to lock on, but it's not letting me.
pick up the portal gear. Guardians will drop a portal gear. These gears are very important, so don't forget to pick them up. So, what? I just fought Gladys? Or one of Gladys' minions? Is that what this is about? A rogue AI causing trouble in the facility? I suspect I'm not supposed to go down there. Turn the statue to open the gate. The ancient gate seems to be locked. Turn the statue in front of the gate to proceed. The statue? There's three of them. What else is up there? This statue? Okay, I was pressing the D-pad there and it just brought up this message again. X and then... Okay, use the uh, analog stick rather than the D-pad. Some clue that was supposed oh, was supposed to be looking the same direction as the other two. I was about to say, was there some clue that was supposed to tell me which way to turn it so that I didn't just turn it all the way around and randomly find the answer? I guess brute forcing my way to the answer worked, but... <laughs> Unlock skills. Sonic's, Sonic's Psyloop skill can now be learned. Using the skill points that have been accumulated, as shown in the lower right of the screen, go to the Skills menu to unlock it. Unlock Psyloop. Psyloop. Hold Y while moving. Run around while leaving a light trail. After creating an enclosure with the light trail and then releasing the button, various effects can happen. Cost one skill point. Okay. Advance with the story to unlock them. Okay, well, so. I was wondering what these are over here, but apparently. comes with the story rather than the skill tree. Phantom Rush. When the, fa when the combo meter is maxed out, Phantom Rush is activating, resulting in attacks being 1.2 times more powerful. Phantom Rush lasts until the combo meter reaches zero. 
Don't have enough skill points for that. Cost three, and I only have one. And it plays that funky little beat if I try. Huh. Save current progress. Save load unavailable. Saving loading save files is not available when Sonic is in battle, solving puzzles, playing minigames, and in scenes where Sonic is not in control. Use Psyloop. To use Psyloop, hold Y and run in a circle. Be sure to close the circle before releasing Y. By using it in an open field, not only can rings be found, but also memory tokens and seeds, perhaps a rare item as well. I needed to boost or double jump to get to that. Let's try it again. Okay. Hmm. I'm having a little bit of trouble realizing where Sonic's gonna land. His shadow doesn't seem to be quite right underneath him. And... How am I supposed to do that one? Is that another ability that I just don't have yet? I don't see a grind rail or anything. Skill now. Oh, okay, they filled in more of the map. on a grind rail? Okay, that's interesting me all the way back to here. If I want to come back quickly. Yeah.
Siloop in combat. Try the Siloop in combat. Some enemies use shields to protect themselves, but Siloop can break down their defenses. Okay, that went pretty well. Hmm, and this looks like that thing at the beginning. Return to the digital dimension again. Use that gear to bridge the gap between dimensions. Okay, the portal gear that I got from that ninja guy, huh? Insert the portal gear. Unactivated portal can be activated with portal gears. Jump onto the portal's pedestal to insert the portal gear. Okay, but I don't have to do that right away, do I? Seagulls. What's that green glowing thing? What's this? Oh. was that? Alright, gotta go to that cyber dimension. Okay. Access requirement. Two times something. Do I have two? An activated portal. Can be activated with portal gears. Jump into the portal pestle to insert the portal. Okay. It is not enough to make the connection. Huh. One gear will not suffice. Hunt down another target and take its gear. Um, you mean that thing? Tower. Dodge, lock onto an enemy with right stick and press left bumper or right bumper. Dodging is faster than normal movement and specializes in avoiding enemy attacks. When in midair, there is no need to lock onto an enemy to dodge. So it was look pointing me to that thing. Darn it, push the wrong button. Okay.
Darn it. It's not letting me lock on. Seem to hurt. jump and hit it head. Use the gear as you have done before. Okay. Uh, I'm tempted to keep looking around, but uh, let's get this over with. Return to cyberspace as many times as it takes. Whatever that means. Reach the goal, clear with S rank, time, clear with 80 rings, find all red star rings. Huh. Happened to Robotnik in the opening cutscene, isn't it? X, XB. X, XB. XB. I'm really confused. that cyberspace thing? Okay, I'm just comboing. Ever. XB? XB? Is 
this what I'm supposed to be doing? Lustic B. Lustic right trigger. Right A. Jump. Left stick boost. Okay, hold them both to parry. Interesting. Okay, what exactly am I doing? <laughs> okay, I think... I don't know what this is about, but I'm getting tired of it. Exit training. Press A to jump. Jumping is useful for going over objects. So now I'm on this. What? I'm kind of confused. get enough regular rings and my time sucked actually my time wasn't all that bad all things considered well try again
Up. Huh. Wow, I just barely made the C rank. <laughs> All right, two times is enough. This again? What exactly is that? I'm gonna have to check the settings to see what that is. Got three vault keys. Okay. A vault was unsealed and can now be opened with a vault key. Is that one of the Chaos Emeralds? Oh, there's a beacon there, too. Ah, drawing in the map for me. Not just drawing in the map, but drawing in the, the land. Although that purple stuff on the bridge looks like it ought to be dangerous. Oh, the weather suddenly changed. Not so rainy and dreary. Yeah, the purple stuff looks like it ought to be dangerous, like it should cause damage. What's in the other box? Not so fast, Sonic. Oh, same thing. Gather Coco to strengthen Sonic. These creatures are called the Coco. They seem to be lost. We'll locate their elder and return them to him. The elder will surely offer a reward for their return, whether increasing Sonic's speed or ring capacity. Ah! I wanted to get that ring. Over there, Sonic, what are you doing? <laughs> ah! I can't figure out how to get up there. Unlocked with two vault keys. Sonic's hands are huge. Hmm. That was the autosave, wasn't it? Huh, okay. Well, viewers, I think this is a 
good first episode. Thank you very much for watching this um, cutscene that I didn't want to go into. <laughs> Congratulations! From here on, Sonic is free to explore the islands and gather KR emeralds. Try solving nearby challenges to avoid getting lost. This will unlock more of the map and show more paths forward in Sonic's journey. Explorer's treasure box redeemed. The Explorer's treasure box has been redeemed. The following items have been acquired. 40 Amy's memory tokens, 10 Chaos Emerald vault keys, and 1 Kronos Island portal gear. The vault was unsealed and can now be unlocked. Yada yada yada. Search for friends. Alright, well, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. Viewers, thank you very much for watching the first episode of Let's Play Sonic Frontiers. In the next episode, I guess we'll continue frontiering, so to speak. Those are so obviously Koroks. <laughs> I mean, they even have little leaves on their heads. Yeah. Yeah, I saw people making comparisons to Zelda Breath of the Wild. I guess we'll see just how valid those comparisons are in the next episode, one suspects. And I'll see you then.